Okay, we're now ready to strain our rail. As you can see, we've inserted the wire into the holes that we drilled earlier. We're going to pull that a little bit tight. We're going to grab our wire vise, remembering again, they're one-way vices. We're going to slide that over into the hole. And our other one. Okay, as you can see, we've got 150 mil of wire sticking out. And even pull that back a little bit. We're going to grab our wire strainer. See, so we want to pull that back for the wire to go into. We're going to locate that over the head of the wire vise and that wire in the grip. We're going to strain that up nice. Not too much to start with. You may see here, we've pulled it up, okay? Now, we're going to grab our Stanley knife. Just bend that wire out of the way for a minute. We're going to do a little cut along there, approximately 25 millimetres. Alright, we're going to get that, and as we strain up, that flap's going to pull back, and that plastic coated wire is going to go insert into that hole. This is going to give you a nice finish on your fence. So we're going to grab and now do the bottom. We don't want to over strain it first up. We're looking for something nice and even. You can see as I pull it up, that flap will push to the side. I might insert a bit more strain on that. Back to our bottom one. go to the other end of the fence and put a little bit more strain on the other end of the fence where we originally did what we called the dead end post and that's how you strain bounce back horse fencing. Thanks for watching.